Number 8. Katyusha Rocket Launcher The Katyusha was a shock and awe weapon used by Soviet troops in the fight against Nazi Germany during World War II. The Katyusha highlighted typical Russian tanks. It was basic, primitive, and ruthlessly efficient. Although Katyusha's rockets were inaccurate, the Soviets launched so many of them that they all managed to reach their objectives. The launcher's official designation was a BM-13. Because the BM-13 launcher was made at a plant named Verazany Comintern, it had the letter K on the side. The rocket launcher was nicknamed Katyusha, the Russian name for Katie, by Soviet soldiers after its famous folk ballad about a woman that was separated from her boyfriend during war. The Katyusha rocket launcher was a weapon of terror and fear. The rockets produced a horrible noise, and the Germans nicknamed the weapon Stalin's organs. The multiple rocket launcher was first developed in the 1930s. The Soviets initially intended to build air-to-air -air missiles for their aircraft. Ground-to-ground -ground rocket research began only in 1938. Remarkably, the Katyusha rockets were launched from tracks instead of the more common tubes, requiring the rockets to be self-propelled. The exhaust gases in a tube produced pressure, which pushed the rocket out of the barrel. Because the gases evaporate over an open rail, the rocket requires a greater jet stream in order to launch. It took years to create a suitable propellant. The Soviets eventually agreed on a nitroglycerin ballistic powder. The Katyusha rocket launcher was a state secret, and only NKVD, Soviet secret police operatives, were allowed to use it. The Katyusha rocket launcher was inexpensive, simple to make, and simple to use. It could be carried across the battlefield by mounting it on trucks, tanks, or even tractors, which made it accessible and deadly. Number 7. V-1 Flying Bomb the V-1 flying bombs, often called doodlebugs or buzz bombs due to the unusual sound they produced while in flight, were jet-powered winged bombs. The first V-1 flying bomb launched by the Germans during the Blitz dropped in London at 4.25 a.m. on June 13, 1944. The first one to hit town struck Grove Road, destroying the railway bridge and nearby homes while killing six people. The doodlebug, or its German codename Cherry Stone, was a weapon of vengeance and devastation used to deal some considerable damage in the onset of World War II, despite its misleadingly harmless titles. A doodlebug is a bomb with wings, an unmanned aircraft. It resembles a cruise missile, but is still somewhat larger. The moniker Buzz Bomb came from the loud, roaring noise created by its pulse engine as it hurtled across the sky. Doodlebugs have been reported as generating ripping and rasping noises, but when their engines stop after a certain distance, they remain eerily quiet, as if they disappear without a trace. When the first V-1 was fired, people described the sound like a motorcycle or a steam locomotive straining up a hill. Residents reported the scene as a flaming plane sweeping across the sky with a spear of flame on its tail. Six people were killed, 30 were injured, and 200 were displaced when the V-1 crashed onto Grove Road. The Great Eastern Railway Bridge that connects Liverpool Street to Essex was destroyed. Surprisingly, train movement was continued within 40 hours thanks to the deployment of a temporary bridge which served customers for four years until 1948. A plated steel blue plaque now hangs in its place as a reminder. The Greater London Council constructed the plaque on June 13, 1987, 41 years after the bomb dropped, after a proposal by Joseph V. Waters, who had a brother injured by the explosion. The plaque was later stolen and replaced with an English Heritage ceramic blue plaque. This catastrophic incident and the extensive bombardment of the East End in general will live in infamy. Although remembering such a terrible event in history is tough, it's nice to know that Mile End Park sprang from the ashes of a wrecked Grove Road and its surrounding neighborhood as a result of the V-1 bombing. Number 6. The Junkers Ju-87 the Junkers Ju-87, often known as the Ju-87, was a World War II German light bomber that served as a dive bomber. Its crew consisted of a pilot and navigator who was also in charge of the mobile machine gun. The Ju-87 was capable of dropping 500 kilograms of bombs, and some of them were even modified to target tanks. We've all heard the classic screaming of a Junkers Ju-87 fighter as it approaches for the kill, whether we knew it or not. The aircraft uses the Stuka siren, Many of us have heard it in cartoons after a character falls from an incredible height. For others, though, it would become a signal of approaching death. This sound, produced by two tiny propellers on the gears, has become iconic for the Luftwaffe or World War II German Air Defense Squad. In fact, many Stuka pilots hated these sirens because they were as annoying to them as they were to the people they fought. They also had a habit of giving away locations and slowing the plane's speed during flight. Despite the Stuka sirens' nuisances, they were highly successful in psychological warfare. 
The noise frightened opponents and caused them to drop whatever it was they were doing to get out of harm's way. During World War II, Ju-87 bombers were used to attack Poland, Belgium, the Netherlands, France, and Greece. During the Battle of Britain, Junkers Ju-87 were used to assault Dover, Folkestone, and other English Channel ports. Many Ju-87s were used against Soviet soldiers in the Soviet Union and also to bomb during the Battle of Stalingrad. Number 5. MG-42 During World War II, machine guns were critical to combat success. Nothing like a modern assault weapon was seen on the battlefields until the final year of the war. As a result, specialized automatic weapons were critical for laying down heavy fire, both in offense and for defense. In the German Wehrmacht, it was known as the Bone Saw. It was dubbed the Linoleum Ripper by the Soviets because of the unique tearing sound it made. Americans called it the Buzz Saw. The gun we're talking about was the MG-42, which many believe to be the finest all-around machine gun in history. Its blazing rate of fire of 1,800 rounds per minute and the deadly 7.92 cartridge it fired earned it a notorious spot on the battlefields of World War II. It was so hated by the U.S. troops that the War Department created propaganda training films to convince troops the MG-42 was overrated, but the weapon's sheer efficiency proved otherwise. In an oral history of infantry and armor operations in Europe, Orville W. Sonny Martin, Jr., a second lieutenant in the United States Army 13th Armored Division, recalled, It sounded like a zipper. It consumes a lot of ammo, which becomes a logistical challenge, but it also consumes a lot of people. Admittedly, the machine gun had flaws. It needed a lot of ammo to keep up, didn't have a single shot mode, and overheated fast. But the level of power it brought to the battlefield had disastrous consequences on enemies. Number 4. V-2 Rocket it was developed in Germany in 1936 by scientists led by Werner von Braun, and it was successfully released for the first time on October 3, 1942. The V-2 rocket was fired in Paris on September 6, 1944. The first of over 1,100 V-2 missions were fired at Great Britain two days later, and Belgium was badly bombed as well. Nearly 5,000 people were killed in V-2 attacks, and it's believed that at least 10,000 captives from the Mittelbau Dora concentration camp died while being forced laborers in the subterranean Mittelwerk plant where the weapons were built. After the war, the U.S. and Soviet Union seized considerable numbers of V-2s and used them in research that caused the creation of their missile and space programs. The V-2 was 47 feet long, weighed 28,000 to 29,000 pounds when launched, and produced about 60,000 pounds of thrust by burning alcohol and liquid oxygen. The payload weighed about 1,600 pounds, the horizontal range was about 200 miles, and the maximum height achieved was about 50 miles. So this was one heck of a rocket. On June 20, 1944 though, a V-2 rocket reached an altitude of 109 miles, making it the first rocket to ever enter space. Number 3. Air Raid Sirens The Air Raid Sirens screamed at 4.56 p.m. on September 7, 1940, when the German Air Force began a devastating onslaught on London. Over 350 bombers flew over the channel from French airfields, dropping 300 tons of bombs on the docks and streets of London's East End. The Blitz was a series of strong and regular bombing strikes on London and other cities. German bombers targeted these British towns, ports, and industrial regions night after night from September 1940 until May 1941. People were notified of an air raid by loud sirens placed across towns and cities. During the Blitz, they were an almost everyday terrifying occurrence. The sirens produced a lengthy and powerful signal or warning sound. For an alarm, the pitch of the siren was raised and lowered alternately. The siren's all-clear signal was continuous. Not every alarm meant a raid, and raids could occur even when no alert was sent out. People would stop what they were doing and head for a shelter when they heard an alarm. During the Blitz, life was extremely difficult and scary for most people. London was particularly horrible since it was bombarded basically every night. More often than not, people slept in air raid shelters. The shelters were created, and a blackout was strictly imposed after dusk to prevent Germans from seeing where the towns were. This meant that all light sources had to be turned off completely. For 11 weeks, London was attacked every day and night. One third of the city was wiped out. The German Air Force dropped 5,300 tons of heavy explosives on London in just 24 nights during the first month. Swansea, Cardiff, Bristol, Southampton, Plymouth, Birmingham, Coventry, and Liverpool were among other cities and towns brutally struck. One deadly strike on Coventry in November 1940 was the world's largest air raid there were 4,330 houses damaged and 554 people killed. 
During the night, 200 fires raged through the city. 32,000 civilians were murdered and 87,000 were badly injured during the Blitz. It ended in mid-May 1941 after most of Germany's air force was deployed east to prepare for Russia's nearing invasion. Number 2. Tiger Tanks The Tiger One's construction was underway in July 1942, and it first saw action against the Red Army in September 1942 near the village of Unga, located about 43 miles southeast of Leningrad. Later that year, in December, it faced off against the Allies in Tunisia. Due to poor factory production rates, though, incorporating these improvements took several months, meaning the Tiger I took almost twice as long to produce than other German tanks. The design was streamlined to assist production, which was partially due to raw material constraints. The Tiger's components were manufactured by a vast network of companies and then transported by rail to Henschel's facility in Kassel for their final assembly, with a total building period of 14 days. From July 1942 through August 1944, the Tiger was in production for two years. Only 1,347 Tiger Ones were ever produced. After that, Henschel produced 490 Tiger Twos until the war's end. Any other battlefield machine made in such small quantities would have been quickly forgotten, but the Tiger's excellent combat performance made it worthwhile. The Tiger's front armor was four inches thick, and British personnel would watch rounds fired from their own tanks just bounce off the Tiger. Eight rounds fired from a 75mm wide artillery piece were supposedly ricocheted off the side of a Tiger from a distance of 150 feet during an early battle with the Allies in Tunisia. Meanwhile, at ranges of up to 1,000 meters, a shot from a Tiger's 88mm cannon could pierce 100mm thick armor. The Tiger was one of World War II's most feared weapons. In addition to its near impervious armor, it could destroy an enemy tank from almost a mile range, and was even more effective on the right terrain causing the Allies to put significant effort into following their movements. Only the German army understood how the Tiger functioned, and on Hitler's orders, damaged Tiger tanks had to be destroyed on the spot to prevent Allies from getting knowledge about the innovative weapons. Number 1. B-24 Liberator The consolidated B-24 Liberator, often called the Model 32, is an American heavy bomber that saw substantial service during the World War II effort. In reality, it's the most manufactured heavy bomber and multi-engine aircraft in history. Despite being difficult to fly and having low speed performance compared to other bombers at the time, the Royal Air Force Liberators were the first aircraft to reliably travel the Atlantic Ocean. The B-24 played a variety of roles in the Allied war effort, including service in every sector of the American military as well as other armies and fleets. It was important to the United States strategic bombing campaign in Western Europe as well as the Pacific in Japan. The B-24 and other early bombers were made obsolete by better aircraft by the end of the war. There are just 13 Liberators left today, and several of them are out of commission or only half complete. Thanks for watching. Have you ever heard of any other interesting weapons? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. Thanks again and we'll see you next time for another amazing video right here on American Eye.